Okay, first grade, this is how to make a beetle out of clay. So you should have two balls of clay left in your plastic bag. And so you would open it and take out one of them. And then you wanna make sure you save the other one for next week. And so you wanna make sure the bag is closed so that no air gets to this so it stays soft. And then we'll just put this away. We're not gonna use it. We just need this one ball of clay. And what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna make some beetles. So this is a beetle that was made by my daughter and I used it as an example. As you can see, it's hollow inside. It's kind of like a little bowl that's upside down. So the first thing we wanna do with our ball of clay is put it in one of our hands and then take your thumb. We're gonna make a pinch pot. We did this last year in kindergarten. Um, and so the way you make a pinch pot is you stick your thumb in there and then you just start pinching the sides and turning it. See how I'm pinching the sides and then turning it? And what this does is it makes our bowl get a little bit bigger. See how the hole is getting bigger? And the sides and the inside is getting thinner. And you want to try to get something that you're going to like for the shape of your beetle. So there, I've opened that up pretty good. Now if I turn it upside down, this is the shape of my beetle. Now if you think it's too tall, if you want your beetle to be flatter, you could just kind of push it down, right? You could make your beetle longer by going like this, or if you want it to be more round, you could keep it more round, okay? But you decide what you want your shape of your beetle to be. And if you get any cracks, see how I can just, it's clay, you can just smooth it. And if it gets very cracked up and it's hard to make it smooth, that's probably because it's getting dry. And if that happens, you can just add a little water to it by dipping your finger in the water and then just smoothing it out. All right, so here's my little beetle, you know, my beetle shell. I've kind of got a little upside down pinch pot to make a beetle. Now, bugs, insects, have three legs on one side and they have three legs on the other. And, I, and you can see these ones are made out of craft stems. We're gonna make ours out of the clay. So I said you could do it two different ways. One is that you could just draw the legs on. So if you wanted to just take your, take your uh, toothpicks and just like draw legs, however you wanna draw them, you could do that. Or if you want them to be 3D, then you can pinch them out. So watch what I do here. I'm just grabbing some of the clay and pinching See how I just kind of go around it and I'm just pinching? And now I have a little leg that sticks out. And I can just do that three times on this side to make three little legs on this side of my beetle. And then I can do three on this side so he'll be symmetrical, right? He'll have three legs on each side. So see how I'm just pinching, right? If it gets cracked up, you can add water or smooth it. So see how that's all cracked up there? And then I said in class, if it breaks off, because somebody in, ha in class had their leg break off, I'm gonna break this one off on purpose, watch this. Let's say you're making it and you're like, oh, oh no, I broke the leg off. Here's how you can fix it. You take the leg that you broke off, you give it a little flat spot. See a little flat spot? And I wanna put it back here. Well, you can't just stick it on because it'll break off again. So what you have to do is scratch to attach. Whenever you put two pieces of clay together, you gotta scratch to attach. So I scratched the spot on the beetle where it's gonna go. I scratched the leg and then you add water. And this makes it like glue. Like it's called slip and it's basically glue for clay. And now those wet scratches, we push them together and then that leg can go back on and you can kind of try to smooth it on if you want to. And that should stick now. All right, my beetle's got three legs on one side, three on the other, awesome. Now I can do more, I can decorate it if I want to, right? I said that if you wanna make a stinger to make it like a bee, you could pinch out another part here to make a stinger. Um, if you wanted to give your beetle a horn, you could pinch at the top here and give him like a horn. See, now he's got a little horn, okay? You can give him a little face, let me smooth that out. So you can, you can draw on him, right? So let, let me give this beetle a little face. Here's a smile. 
and give him some eyes. All right, so now my beetle's got a little face. Oh, there's a little horn. <laughs> I can decorate the back of him. I could draw polka dots or stripes or other designs, or you could draw wings on the back, back of him. So you just do whatever you want. So I'm just drawing some polka dots now, but you don't have to draw polka dots. You can design it however you want. And we are gonna color these later. So you could just leave it plain, and then when we paint them another day, then maybe you'll just paint the design on. You don't have to draw it if you don't want to. All right, so that could be like my finished bug, except for one thing. I've gotta do one more thing. If I want my beetle to have these cool antennas that stick out, like two of them, I have to have two holes above the face. So this is what the straw is for, right? Let's say I want the antennas to come out from here and here. I take this straw and I push it through, and now I have a hole that goes right through. And then I'm just gonna do it again over here so he can have two antenna. There we go, two holes for the antennas to go through its head right there, no problem. And then somebody in class asked about the beads and I didn't really get a chance to talk about it, but all the beads are there for is if you want to make little designs, you can press the beads in. So you see, I take this bead and I just press it in and pull it out and it makes these little circles. So you could use the beads for that. Just do not leave any beads in the clay and do not take the toothpicks and leave them like in the clay. Because anything that you leave in the clay it'll get burned off in the kiln. It'll just burn up and it'll be gone, okay? And it could mess up the kiln. The only thing we wanna put in the kiln is the clay, okay? So whenever your beetle's all done, then you just put it somewhere safe, let it dry, and then you're gonna wrap it up in newspaper or paper towel or a paper, a plastic bag and put it back in your white box and then I will, it'll come back to the school and I will fire it. And then in about a month or something, you'll get it back and we will paint them. We'll give them some color. Okay, bye-bye everybody, good luck.